Good afternoon. Uh, we'd like to welcome everybody to the Monday, January 21st, 2014 meeting of the Murfreesboro City Historic Zoning Commission. This is the first meeting of the year. Uh, we're, we're certainly happy to be here. Um, uh, Ms. Davis, do we have a quorum? Okay, we have a quorum and we can conduct business. The first item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of the regular meeting on August 13th, 2013. It seems to me like that was a long time ago. It was. Last year. <laughs> Forgot what you all look like. uh, you, you should have been provided with a copy uh, of the minutes. Uh, I have reviewed them. Uh, I hope you have reviewed them. Does anybody have any additions or corrections to the August 13th, 2013 <clears throat> minutes? Mr. Chairman, if there's no correction, I'll make the motion to approve. Okay. We. We have a motion and a second to approve the second. minutes as presented. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we have one item of new business. Uh, uh, Robert, I'll ask you to present this and we'll take it under consideration. Okay, thank you, Chairman Cross. Uh, the item we have today, uh, the property is located at 435 East Main Street. Uh, the picture of the house is, uh, is on the screen above you. Uh, it's located on the north side of East Main Street, about midway between North Manny Avenue and uh, North Highland Avenue. The house was built around, excuse me, 1893 in the, in the architectural style of the colonial revival, Queen Anne style of architecture. It's got a massive arched porch with balustrade, uh, Chicago school and Palladian windows. Uh, it's a two and a half story uh, brick structure uh, with a hip roof. And it is a uh, contributing structure in the East Main Street Historic District of the National Register of Historic Places. Uh, what the applicants are wanting to do uh, is replace uh, they're having some problems with uh, uh, energy efficiency in, in the windows on the third floor, uh, and they are proposing to uh, replace the windows on the third floor of the house. Uh, and what they're the attached, I have some photographs in your agenda package, plus I have a brochure from the, uh, uh, the contractor, American Home Design, is undertaking the project to... Uh, proposes change uh, and and looking through the brochure uh, and I've talked to the applicants about this uh, the windows they're proposing are a uh, vinyl window and uh, if the contractor I think the contractor or the applicants can can talk to this uh, that's what they're uh, <coughs> looking to replace with they say the style uh, uh, the architecture of the windows, the shape, and everything will, will be the same, but they're, they're not going back with the uh, wooden windows that's existing on the house right now. So that's what the commission is, uh, is going to be looking at today. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, the applicants are in the audience, so is the contractor, and I'll be happy to, to answer any questions you might have. Would uh, either the applicant or the contractor like to explain a little bit more about why you're wanting to go to vinyl windows? Uh, I actually brought a, uh, a piece of our window. Our windows are designed to look more like the windows, actually, but they are 100% they are pure vinyl resin. So Excuse from... Would you state your name and address for the record, just oh, so we have it on the record? Jamie please. Bush, uh, design consultant with American Home Design. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, no no problem, <laughs> sir. But we design our windows to actually look like wood windows, but we but have the benefit of it being maintenance-free, mm -hmm. uh, and they are energy efficient. Our uh, frames are shaped more like crown molding, like you see on the out exteriors of homes. So from a distance, it really does look like a wood window. And from the third... Uh, being it's on the third story, we we Miss Deaton and I felt like it from from that distance you wouldn't be able to really tell whether it was vinyl or not. 
So I guess that's where we stand at. Could we look at that, please? Yes, sir. Just pass it over. Yeah, that would be great. I'd like to ask while they're looking at the window, so you're, you're going to be able to replace uh, what I call the chapel, chapel style windows, exactly. they're curved at the top. They look exactly, the arched windows, yeah. palladium windows, what they're referred to as. Good. And then the other ones are double homes. Okay. <clears throat> so everything's going to look just as it looks now. It'll look exactly the same. Thank you. Of course, there was a lot of rotted wood and things like that, and so we're going to have to be replacing wood around it and just fix the gaps around it and all that. So, is this uh, low E glass? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Energy efficient with the argon gas. Yes, sir. Just out of curiosity, what, uh, yeah. how much difficulty do you have with these vinyl windows with mold buildup? Uh, we have a chemical in it. It's called tie shield. It's a titanium dioxide that prevents it from molding. Okay. Like you see if you're referring to maybe like siding or something like that. Right. It, it's a big problem with siding. We have the same uh, chemical in our, our siding as well as the windows that prevent it from molding, okay. mildewing and sun fading, oxidizing. question for you. It seems that, um, you know, the bad name that vinyl siding has gotten, for one thing, is how shiny it is mm -hmm. in comparison to wood. And I noticed up close, this has a sheen to it, too. Is there a matte finish on, on vinyl windows that you can get? Uh, no, ma'am. That's all. That's what we have. Okay. We don't have any other options for that. Okay. It's designed to keep it from oxidizing, color fading. Oh, what it's designed. The sheen is? Uh-huh. That's what it's for. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. What's the uh, total number of windows we're, get, we're going to be replacing on the third floor? Uh, I believe we have, I think it's 10. 10, 10 <coughs> windows. 12 windows, yep. Ten double hungs, and the other ones are the uh, arch windows, the palladium windows. When you repaint the wood that you're going to replace to, to make the windows solid, uh, what type of paint will you be using? Would it be matching the window or the, the paint that's already there? Uh, the paint that's already there. We'll do it as close to it as we can get. Does no. your? Oh, go ahead. I was just going to ask if, if you know, do you know if that's a satin or a semi gloss paint. Semi gloss is what they use. Okay, so my only thought is there that that semi gloss will come pretty close to the window. Mm -hmm. Are the windows that are in place the original windows? Yes, sir. And the window glass is the original glass. Single pane. Right. Yes, sir. And that's that's all glass. It's all glass. What, what what are your intentions to do with the existing windows, the glass, uh, as you take, <clears throat> as take, we take them out? Right. Uh, whatever. If you if you wanted to keep them, the installers could stack them up for you and keep them. Or we usually just dispose of them. We clean and haul the area. Does your company? Uh, Sell wooden windows as well, or just no, vinyl? sir, just vinyl. And, and what brand are they? Uh, Preservation. That's the brand name. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions or discussion? I was just going to ask uh, to the applicants. I guess my apply to the applicants. Have you investigated repairing uh, the windows with anybody at all? No. No. Have you looked into wooden windows at all as a possibility? The compared uh, prices? No. Uh, it was my understanding that wooden windows were more expensive. Mm -hmm. 
And what uh, what's the condition of the windows on the first floor and the second floor? They're fine. They're good. And they're original also? Yeah. So the problem is primarily maintaining windows at the higher level? Yes, they're on the third floor. I was trying to uh, recall in my memory bank, and it, <coughs> it's not becoming clear in my memory bank, but I was, you know, there is also a window that is wood that's vinyl clad. Am right. I, am I right there? And I was just wondering, do you recall approving any of those in our zone? I think we have approved some vinyl clad wooden windows in the past. Uh, it seems the most recent issue was on College Street, and uh, I think we required wood windows. The wooden windows that face the street. Street, right. The ones that in the back. The white they, stucco house yeah. uh -huh, on the south side of College. Yeah, anything that was visible from the street, I think they were required to be wood on that College Street Ooh. address. Which visible from the street, I think, if you put that picture back up there, I think there's only three windows that are actually visible from the street. If I remember correctly, five, three, four, five. Well, the ones, this is fronting Main Street. Uh, and then there's the west side, which you can see, which is further down on my, yeah, right here. This is a west view from from the uh, alley which is close but you can probably see these from main street and then there's the the east side which is on the opposite side and i don't think i took a picture of that one so it'd be the 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 south side the east and the west side that would be visible Um, it would be possible to get a wooden sash window like this that was double paned with low E glass. Is it? Would it not? Uh, yeah, there's Anderson. I think still sells uh, wood windows. A vinyl wood clad actually is what they sell. They're about two thousand dollars a window, <clears throat> but they are still available. And how long have these windows been in place? Her windows yes. existing? I guess since it's been built. Yes. They're original. They're about to, years. They're falling out of they're falling out. There's a lot of wood replacement that needs to be done and So the wood held up for hundred and sixteen years. <laughs> yeah, it actually did, yeah. They used good wood back then. Uh, what's the life expectancy of the vinyl? Uh, we give a lifetime, I'll explain our warranties to you, we give a lifetime installation, lifetime product, lifetime material, lifetime glass breakage, and lifetime against seal failure, the gas that leaks out of it. We give a true lifetime warranty on it. Whose lifetime? Uh, the owner's and it transfers one time. Okay. So it's actually a double lifetime warranty, it transfers. And I think that was one of her, in case she <coughs> ever sold it or something, that, that the warranty would go with it. <clears throat> well, this is an issue that I think this commission has dealt with numerous occasions, perhaps different building fabric uh, replacing original material with a modern material because it's cost effective uh, and uh, because it would appear to outlast the existing um, and I, I certainly don't doubt that the windows that are there uh, have been there that long that they they probably need to be replaced um, it's just a matter for for this historic zoning commission to make a determination about whether or not they want to approve switching to a vinyl product uh, 
or requiring that they go back with uh, a wooden product. And, and I would agree with you that in all probability, those windows are made of clear heart poplar, which any new windows that you get, wooden windows, are not going to be made of anything that's that durable. They're going to be fur uh, or something else. So just being honest, that's that that's fact. Mm -hmm. They're not going to hold up like the poplar windows ha have held up. So uh, the uh, commission needs to consider that, I think, in, in terms of what they're willing to accept. Well, Mr. Chairman, here's my thought so far, um, is that being that we have approved vinyl wooden, vinyl clad windows in the zone before, I, and looking up close up at the sample, I don't think on the third floor that we're going to be able to tell the difference. Uh, so I don't have a major problem with it. I guess my question would be, you know, if we if we decide to accept this, do we need to make some stipulation? You know, I don't know if we can say only on the third floor. I'm just concerned about how we've required wooden windows. Um, on first and second floors, especially on um, East Main Street, how we handle this. Anybody else? Gib, do you have any? I, I, I agree with you. I think that if we, I mean, where do you draw the line? The last time we had this issue, we said no to vinyl. We said it may need to be wood. Well, we said no vinyl on front and main. Mm -hmm. Front and side. That was visible from the street so mm -hmm. side or sidewalk. So. Every case is, every every instance is a different, different <clears throat> case. I mean, that, that house was a two-story house, and we're talking about the third floor here. I'm not saying we should do it or we shouldn't do it, but every case we're grappling with with, uh, with each, it's, it's every case is different, uh, and whether you do or you don't, it's there's reasons why you're doing that, and that's what needs to be documented is why you're going to do it or why you're not going to do it, and that's I don't know if you're setting a precedence, but at least you're explaining why you're doing it or why you're not doing it. Can you uh, tell us the instance where we did approve it? Uh, there's a house on East Main Street, right? I'm not exactly sure what address it is. It's on the corner, uh, maybe Second Avenue. It's, it was a vinyl house, uh, and it's been done just right after I got on board here. Uh, I think they did uh, vinyl. They replaced vinyl because it was a vinyl house anyway. They replaced vinyl with some vinyl windows and doors. Would that house have been contributing to the National Register? And I Probably not. I don't think it was. Uh -uh. Yeah. So that's a difference. Yeah. And that's about the only one I can think of right off the top of my head. How long ago was that? Do you have an idea? It's probably 10 years ago. Okay. It was, you know, early in the early 2000s. I'm, I'm with David. Uh, I, I think we need to realize it's going to be case by case. Uh, every situation is different. Um, when we have homeowners that want to put money back into their property, I think we just that's what we need to be looking at. What's what's good for the area? What's going to keep people in this area? You know, if we say we're not going to allow vinyl, no vinyl in this in historic district. What are you going to have? You're going to have people moving out. So you've got to have limitations on what, what you're going to approve and what you can't. We're, we're talking the third floor. We're not talking the whole front side. We're talking third floor. Um, and so with that being said, I, I approve. I think this is something that, you know, we should do as a board to make sure that we're taking care of these homeowners, but we're still doing the right thing, and we're doing it case by case.
I are, can tell you, going to the the wood replacements um, with those chapel windows is out of sight because when we replaced our windows, uh, we did the wood, but we didn't do the chapel windows. We didn't have as many of they ha as they have here, but we had probably, I think, four that I can think of right on hand, but we just left those alone just to let the cold air come through those. <laughs> Well, I think you mentioned two thousand dollars a window for wood windows. Yeah, Andersons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is the cost on these? Uh, these are eight hundred a piece installed. Of course, she got some. Wood. We she wanted to get a wood trim on the inside, but I don't think that affects what y'all's doing. But we have a wood trim in interior, foxwood. It's real pretty. It's got a reddish tone to it. Cause she's going to fix. It's an attic area right now, but she's going to fix it up. So it could be fixed up by that mm -hmm. I think it, it might be worth actually getting an actual estimate for wood windows. Um, you know, we're we're just dealing with hearsay at this point. I, I replaced some wooden windows with wooden, a Ooh. different brand. They weren't Anderson. They were, uh, uh, I, I can't call the name of them, but uh, they weren't outrageously priced. I mean, and, and that's in the Ooh. last five or six years, so. Were they comparable energy efficiency? Yeah, they were, you know, uh, double hung with uh, uh, argon. Um, they were smaller windows. They were about kitchen windows. Uh, but I think that one other thing that we have to consider is uh, the National Register District, the fact that these are historic houses and that what we're, the historic district strives to do is retain that integrity of materials and workmanship and design and feeling. So we have to speak to that as well. I mean, that's one of the things that lends value to the properties is that the historic integrity. Well, the Secretary of Interior Standards, which are the, the backbone that uh, all uh, state decisions and federal <coughs> decisions are made uh, uh, regarding changes like this would their recommendation would be that you go back with original material now there are exceptions to that but I'm confident I don't think that going to these vinyl windows would would change the National Register status of the uh, of these uh, of this house uh, but that would be the standard that they have established is to, if it's wood, stick with wood. Um, certainly, the, I don't know of any place where they advocate vinyl, not that there's anything wrong with vinyl. Um, uh, that Those are just the standards. Our standards are based uh, on the Secretary of, Inst uh, of Interior standards for historic preservation projects. So... Um, that's something to consider. What are you, Jim? What are you uh, asking for? I, well, I would I would suggest getting a deferring and, and getting an estimate for wood and see how it compares. Okay, let me let me ask you um, when you're talking about the feel of the wood since there have been some windows approved that are wood whether that are vinyl clad which means the outside of the right. window is vinyl <clears throat> I'm not sure that I understand the, the difference in feel or or visual feel or well the word feeling is a word in the language for the National Register it, it has to do with association not the touch it's, so it's a different sort of a you know what the neighborhood is like, uh, so that's that's how I mean that word. But uh, and I think, well, to Robert's memory, it was on a vinyl house that we've done that. And I don't. There may have been some others. I don't. I just don't recall. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I think we also need to um, make note. Um, of what Kurt has said 
about the homeowners and keeping our good homeowners in the district and also um, Paul from what you've said that you don't feel that this would take this house off the National Register right um, but give up I, I mean I understand what you're saying too I, we're, maybe we are setting a precedent um. How long have the Deatons owned this home? Since 1986. Inherited from my father who bought it in 54. Oh, okay. You, you've been good stewards of a historic resource. That makes a difference to me. Mm -hmm. well, we, we do appreciate the whole concept of preservation. You know, we're not rebels. <laughs> we're here to work with you, and uh, we want what is best for uh, the district. And uh, all at the same time, um, we were looking at this as being something more cost effective. Uh, and, and we enjoy working with the company. They do a really great job, and uh, it was just a very comfortable decision on our part. And uh, then, you know, after the after the fact, we came to realize that there could be issues. After we sold the job, after Deaton and I, we didn't really realize that there was a historical deal that had to be approved. And when I turned it in, my installation manager, Joel Cron, said, hey, did you realize that that's in a historical district? And then he reached out to Mr. Lewis. Mm -hmm. you? He reached out to Mr. Lewis and <clears throat> just to follow the natural steps that needed to take place. That's how this come about. Okay. <clears throat> I'm... The chair cannot make a motion. <laughs> Is there a motion? Well, I'll make a motion that we uh, we approve the windows as submitted. We have a motion from Mr. Becker that the windows be approved as submitted. Is there a second? And before you go to the second, that that uh, Ms. Brenda, that we insert uh, uh, Mr. Wade's. Uh, comments and the chairman's comments regarding uh, these windows in the National Historic Register. Second. I have a second from Mr. Wade. I would uh, like to make a suggestion for someone to perhaps make an amendment since I can't do that. But I would like for uh, I would like to know that the existing windows will be carefully removed and that that glass uh, will be uh, stored and made available for reuse okay. uh, elsewhere in this house or by some other historic uh, site that is in need of glass that would be comparable to the glass that's in there because it's that. very expensive uh, and finding original glass like that is very difficult okay. uh, and I would like to know that those original parts and pieces were saved for reuse okay that's that's just a suggestion if anybody wants to offer an amendment I would like to make an amendment can you repeat that exactly? <laughs> I can. <laughs> I would like to make an amendment that the original um, glass and framework be removed and um, kept in kept in whole, so that it can be reused either by the owners or um, we have lots of um, historical. Um, I guess they're called preservation, rest, restoration um, businesses in the area. I know Nashville has a big one. Um, that they be reused. We have a motion. Not disposed of. Do you have a garage that we can put those in? A place where we can... I have an attic. 
<laughs> well, yeah, we can take about keep them in the attic right where they're at. Okay, we have a, we have a motion on an amendment. Does anybody want to second that? Second. Okay, I have a motion in the second, so we'll be voting on the amendment. And the amendment says that the original windows and glass will be salvaged and held. Uh, and we may, uh, through Robert's offices, make people aware of the fact that such glass is available uh, for someone who might need it. Uh, all those in favor of that amendment, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Noes. <coughs> Right, the amendment carries. We're back on the original motion, uh, which is to approve the windows, the vinyl windows, to match the originals uh, as presented to us. <coughs> All in favor of that motion, please say aye. 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 And opposed? No. We have recognized one no. And the motion carries. Hope you understand that that the no vote uh, and the questions that have been asked are relative to our concern about establishing a precedent of uh, replacing original historic fabric with modern fabric that bears no resemblance to it other than shape. Right. Uh, that That's the nature of the concern, and I think in this case, because of the the level of it and the exposure of it and the long record of ownership of the owners and the efforts that they have made, uh, that the commission saw fit to uh, make an exception uh, in 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 their in their interest. I think that's I think that's what we're doing. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Robert, do we have any staff reports or other business? No, I don't have anything, Chairman. Nor do I. Nobody has a thing. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? We'll probably, I take that back, we'll probably have a site plan next month uh, for, uh, for the Episcopal Church. Planning Commission is going to be looking at it this month. And uh, the next step would be to come to the historic commission. So we should we should be meeting in very very soon, probably the next month. Okay. All right. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Make a motion. We adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 We are adjourned. <laughs>